What's up guys, Intro Spectrum here. Uh, just a quick tier list of all the guns. Now that I've used them all, I feel like I have a good grasp of you know, how good they are and where they should be placed on a tier list. So I figured I'd just throw them together and hope you enjoy it. All right, I'm gonna start off with the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The quick trader guns, the ones you don't have to level anyone up for that are, that are easy to get. Uh, first one, bolt action. S tier. Carry one into every single raid. It'll win you fights. I promise. This thing is nuts. Uh, the default AR, really bad. I wouldn't use it very. I've never really used it because it's just so terrible. Like, don't really use it at all. D, I'd, I'd put it in F tier, but like, there's some people that would maybe be mad about that because they like it. So it goes in D tier. Uh, SMG, same as that. It's, uh, it's, you know, really bad, but, you know, you could use it if you really wanted to. Pistol, I'd say, is B tier. It's pretty good, honestly. It's is the one of the, there's two weapons that I'd use from the the default ones, and it's the pistol and the bolt action. Bolt action every raid, and pistol is really cheap, and it's decent for how cheap it is. The trench gun, don't ever pick this thing up. It's terrible. It has terrible damage, terrible pen, terrible consistency. It's just bad. It's just not good at all. All right, next, Osiris weapons. The first one you get, the uh, Scarab. I'd say this is this is also a B tier gun. By the way, uh, the far left of the row is going to be the best in that category, and then moving to the right is going to be the worst in the category. So I think the Scarab is in B tier and better than the K28 pistol. The Flechette gun is th probably the cheapest gun, or the cheapest like meta gun so to speak. It's it's pretty good. I'd say it's S tier. It's 40k, it's full auto, it's got a high rate of fire, it's got low recoil. It's it's a very nice gun. I like this one a lot. Uh okay, what do you unlock next? The phasic or the no the manticore. The manticore It's okay. It's really jumpy. It's really cheap though. I'd probably put it below the scarab, honestly. I mean, the full auto is nice, but it's met. I don't want to put it in between there. I might change this afterwards. I'm not sure, though. Phasic Lancer, I'd say that's a decent gun, honestly. It's controllable. Its magazine capacity is a little low. Its damage is good. Its pen is all right. It's a, it's an all-around decent gun. Uh, the Gorgon, I actually really like the Gorgon. Uh, it's a beam weapon, so it's the trigger is weird. You have to hold it, and then it like fires, and if you let go, it stops firing. It's It's got a weird trigger. I think it could use with some change. Like, you just click the button, and then it charged up and shot one thing. It's really expensive on ammo to shoot the beam weapon, but it's laser accurate even when hip-fired, and it, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a hit-scan weapon. So if your crosshair is on them, while the gun is firing, it's, it's going to do damage to them. You don't have to worry about travel time or leading. And that's that's very nice. So I'd say this is an A tier gun. It's a little difficult to use, but I think in the right hands that it could it could absolutely decimate people. The Gorgon. Next is the Basilisk. This is a sniper. I wouldn't really. I mean, maybe you could use it for PvP, but I think it's probably better at killing uh like AI and stuff. I mean, it's nice for people, but this is. Better and cheaper, so just use the bolt for that. I'll put it, it's also really expensive, so I'll just put it low A tier for now. Uh, okay, let's move on to the Korolev weapons. Scrapper. S tier. <laughs> it's up there with the bolt. Like, the Scrapper-Bolt combo, dirt cheap, 9k total for both of the guns. And these are some of the highest damaging guns in the game, like... You can have a scrapper and a bolt is on backup, and you can win any engagement if you play it right. No matter what the armor they're wearing is, it's it's nuts. The scrapper is very good. Uh, Maelstrom, you unlock this second. It's all right. I'd put it above the Manticore. It's really cheap. It's about the same price as the Manticore, honestly, but it's really effective close range. You can use it as a backup for like whatever your primary weapon is. Like you you can bolt them, and you can just push with the Maelstrom. And it'll it'll shred them pretty fast. It's semi-auto as well, so it's pretty good. Uh, what's next? You unlock. I think you unlock the long shot next. I'd say the long shot's probably probably above the basilisk because it's cheaper than the basilisk. It's really really good at fighting AI, and it's got a lot of pen. 
So maybe maybe I'll put it in S tier, honestly, because it's it's kind of expensive, but it's like it's worth it. Like you shred players, you shred AI, and you don't have to bring a ton of bullets. It's really accurate. Its recoil isn't that bad. It's a very nice gun. Hammer, A tier. Uh, high A tier. It's basically just a cheaper version of the long shot, except it's not as accurate. You can't mod it as much. And pff, what else? The hammer's nice. I like the hammer. It's, it's fun to shoot and it feels good. It's kind of like the wingman in Apex Legends or like the, the R8 in CSGO. It's just fun and effective if you can hit your shots. I think at three shots, people, if you hit your shots. In the head, it's it's one to the head and then one to the body. Unless they are not wearing a helmet, then I might just one-shot them. I'm not sure. Okay. And the last one is the uh, the KOR-47. Uh, this is an A-tier gun, or an S-tier gun. This is the best AR in the game right here. It's got like 14 damage, 12.5 RPM with a I want to say 24 round capacity. I'm not sure about that, though. But it's it's the best AR by far. It's really expensive, though, but it's an S-tier gun. All right, let's move on to the... Uh, what's it called? The ICA guns. Uh, first one, Bulldog, F-tier, terrible. Don't use it. Uh, yeah, just don't use it. It's not good. The next one is the Lacerator. I'd put it C tier. It's really hard to control, but it's it is pretty cheap and decent at killing AI. But I don't really like it. Uh, the guarantee. I'd put this at a solid. It's a solid. I think it's at the top of B tier. It's a good gun. It's got high magazine capacity. It's relatively cheap. It's got decent pen. And its its recoil is really where it's it kind of falls off because I mean it's really you just pull straight down but it's it's a lot for some people but it is a decent gun I like it Advocate a tier gun probably the second best AR next to the KOR I don't know if they're uh, yeah I'd probably say it's the second best AR I use it quite a bit and it's really good uh, the scatter gun. This is the best shotgun in the game. This thing decimates people if you do it right. So I'll put it in B tier. It's not like a meta gun or anything, but it is it's a lot of fun to use because you can like jump around, like jump or you can jump peek someone, and if you click on their head and you have a pen mod, they'll just die. Because it's got it's got 25 pen. If you have a purple pen mod on it, that brings it up to 30 pen, because the uh, purple mods are plus five pen. And the more pen you have, the more damage you do. There's like a damage multiplier. The higher pen you have above the grade of their armor, it's weird. And it does 84 damage. So if you hit enough of the pellets in the head, this thing will one-shot people through up to blue helmets. So it's very nice. I love it. But it's, uh, it's a lever action, so you have to like... And it only has four shots in the magazine, so you have to be accurate. It's kind of like the pump in Fortnite. <laughs> or when I used to play Fortnite, it, it feels like the pump used to feel. Kind of like a dodge and weave, like pick pick your fights and shoot your shots carefully type of gun. But I like it. I'd put it above the Scarab. Honestly, I'd put it above the Guaranteed just because I like using it so much. Uh, okay, Voltaic Brute. Best gun in the game, hands down. If you ever find one, use it. It is stupid good. Uh, 14 damage, like 17 fire rate. It is the best gun in the game, hands down. There's nothing that comes even remotely close to this gun. It's stupid overpowered. And then the Kinetic Arbiter. It's another sniper. I've never used it. But I'm pretty sure it's... It one-shots people in the head no matter what they're wearing. And for that reason, I'm going to put it below the Advocate in A-tier. Uh, just because on paper it's a good gun. Uh, the two legendary weapons, the Karma 1, uh, S-tier, obviously. Uh, it's super expensive to run, but it one-shots anyone no matter where you hit them. No matter what they're wearing. This will one-shot them. Zeus Beam, also S-tier. Uh, it's a beam weapon, same as the Gorgon. It has infinite range, it's hit scan, so you don't have to worry about travel time. 
I don't know how much pen it has, but I think it's a high number. So you basically just ignore armor. If you hold it on them for long enough, they die, and it's not even that long. It's a very good weapon, but also very expensive. All right, let me just go through again and order each category from what I think is best to worst. Uh, obviously, these things are going to be nuts if you can get them. But I'm going to take account price. So these are, these are going to be at the bottom just because of how expensive they are. Brute, number one by far. Honestly, I'd say the flechette is better than the core just because of how cheap it is. Uh, the scrapper is so absurdly cheap, so I'm going to put it up there. Uh, and then I, I'd feel good about that. Brute, flechette, core, scrapper, bolt, KBR, and the two legendary weapons. A tier. 50k for this. Mm. Honestly, I'd put that above the advocate, just because this thing is so cheap, and I feel like it's pretty effective. It's The only issue is that it's burst and has low magazine capacity. And then I'd put this here, and this here, and the Arbiter's probably better than the Bassy. I've never really used these two guns, so I couldn't tell you for sure. Okay, best in this category, I'd say the Guarantee, then the Scatter Gun, then the Maelstrom, then the Burst Pistol, and honestly, I'd put the Manticore at the bottom. I'd put the Manticore in C tier, honestly. It's not very good. I don't like it very much. Uh, this is better than that, uh, this is probably better than that, but I'm happy with this, so there's the little, the cheeky tier list of all the weapons. Oh, wait, let me, let me turn the camera off real quick, so you can see the full thing. There you go. Scroll down. Final image of the tier list. Uh, or in my opinion, this is how the guns are rated in the game. So, you know, thanks for watching. I hope it was informative. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like and comment if you feel so inclined. And roll the outro. What's up, guys? Outro Spectrum here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, drop a comment. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you like what you saw, you can join me on Twitch at Spectrum1210 on TTV. Other than that, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.